It's me, James Swinney, again from the New York Stock Exchange, and I come to you this time pre-recorded be before the bell. And do you know why? Well, it's because I have no choice. In just a short while, I will embark upon what I call the Valley of Death, a.k.a. the Department of Motor Vehicles. And I'm all suited up, I'm ready for war, and I expect it to be yelled at, I expect it to be stepped on, I even expect it to be spit on. And that's only the first five minutes of waiting online. Wish me luck, guys. But there is some good news. It will soon be 4 p.m. The markets will soon be closed. And guess what? It's almost happy hour in the Big Apple. Now, U.S. stocks, they rose Tuesday, bouncing back from the previous day's drop with investor sentiment lifted by quarterly earnings as well as data. Now, the CPI, Consumer Price Index, that rose 0.3% last month following a 0.4% rise in May. The core measure, which does not include food and energy, increased 0.1%. Now, another report from the National Association of Realtors had existing home sales rising a better than expected 2.6% in June. Now, for every share that fell, more than three gained right here at the New York Stock Exchange more than halfway through the session. And let's now take a look to see how the markets actually settled in. And lastly, the U.S. second quarter results had a series of big names reporting before the bell today. Investors cheered results from Verizon as well as DuPont, but Coca-Cola. Their shares fell after reporting a 3% fall in its quarterly profit. And McDonald's declining after the fast food chain reported earnings that also fell short of expectations. And tech giants Apple and Microsoft, their numbers will be published shortly after the closing bell. So there you have it. Kick back, relax. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Wish me luck as I stand in line in the valley of death the DMV. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. From ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Swinney.